So Outriders is now out, and man, it is fun. It is what we expected playing from the demo, uh, progressing into the full game, it definitely delivered. And well, the farming continued guys, and that's why I bring you today an easy way to farm those epic and higher pieces of gear to help you within your journey to world tier 15 and max level. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis be sure to subscribe. So within the demo the main point of playing after about an hour was just to farm loot, no two which ways about it, it was about that loot chasing. Now that the main game is out, people as you'd understand want to play through the story and level up, that's fair. But if you want to farm for better gear before doing said things to make life a lot easier for you, that's what today's video is all about. Today I'll show you a super quick way in farming epic armor and weapons at great great levels which will assist you on your travels. Now because the game was popular within the demo some of you will know about this farm already while many many new players that have joined the Outriders community won't know about this. Okay so epics are the second highest tier of gear in the game. You can apply two mods to these and to me they are really worth investing materials in to level up. But getting epics early on isn't easy at all, in fact they are quite rare. But there are places you can visit and farm without losing world tier, the item is starting which will see you earn some great epic gear. But at the same time even that rare gear or green gear here will assist you. The spot is called the OG chest farm. In the demo they nerf legendaries out of these chests because people abuse them that much. But in the full game guys they do drop epics. Now I know people will ask me do they drop legendaries again to answer that I do not know people can fly did say they were not sure whether to add them back into the chest or not for the full game and we still don't know if they did not until someone gets one from a standard chest anyway. So this OG chest farm is a part of a super early on mission. If you have got to the stage of leaving Riftan to the last city, you can go back and do this. And you do it like this. From the lobby menu, next to world tier which I will state, make sure your world tier is set to the highest, the higher the more chance you have of getting an epic. But from this point, select the select story point. Then go to Riftan, some of you may have to scroll left. Then select the third mission down, confront the altered at the tower. Once you load in, follow the short route. I will state there are five chests within this area, but it's way more efficient just farming the three, then loading out and loading back in. And that's just it guys. So you are seeing me grab the three chests, and once you grab them, you quit through that lobby, repeat the steps of selecting that story point, with tan, confront the altered, make sure you reset the mission, load back in, rinse and repeat, and you can farm these chests for as long as you like. You mean he lights up light bulbs? More like flash frying everything for a mile. Look, I know you've always been able to handle yourself, but this son of a bitch is on a whole other level. As of recently, so am I. Now to prove how efficient these are, here is my power and credit to him, easy now 1337, who also posts and streams daily outriders. His channel can be found linked below if you do want to check him out. Here is him getting 3 epics from 3 chests in one run. Yeah this isn't always going to be the case, he's playing on a world tier 9, but they are way more common than you think. Me doing this my second run, I got an epic chest piece. And it really does help you out guys, it helps you progress, it helps you level up, it helps you stronger for that story campaign. If you plan on upgrading to every single world tier, you unlock. But like I said, either way, epics or not, make sure you check those blues and greens too as they will certainly help you progress. But yeah guys, a short but sweet video just showcasing you how you can farm epics early on in the game. I mean, as you get to the later stages of the game, things like monster hunts and a few other side missions do drop quite a few uh, epics obviously in the higher world tiers but for now within the early days this is definitely the best epic farm without a shadow of a doubt 
and also it will help you, like I said, in terms of your gear, which will assist you in playing through that story. But on that note guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.